Welcome to this video. In this tutorial, you will learn how to work with SQL queries to display data and interact with various components, including label, memo, rich text, image, and barcode. Label. Label are normally used to display short text. Continuing from the previous variable video, we will demonstrate how to capture shelf information using a label. To display SQL query data in a label component, follow these steps. Click on Label Component, place in desired location on the report. Remember the label name given by System, Label 1. Click on the Calc tab in the top left corner. Right-click on Wording Global and select Event. Scroll down and find Label 1 you created just now, select on Get Text Event. Type the following code, to learn how to write the code. Refer to the Video Report Builder, RTM, Get Column from Database using Variable for Details. For label, you need to display the data at text. The report will now capture the data you assign in the onGetText procedure instead of relying on a text input box in the design page. Memo Memo are normally to print multiple lines of plain text in a report like description, description 2 and etc. Select the memo object and put it at the desire field. Memo supports shift relative to property to define dynamic relationships with other stretchable objects. For example description 2. Some customers want to use a standard font type and size for more description. Now, I will show you how to display more descriptions in plain text. Look for memo, click on on print event. Memo 3 is the component name, type the name as memo 3, assign the data to dot text. Rich text to plain text function is the process of converting text formatted with various styles and features like bold, italics, into plain, unformatted text. Pull the function rich text to plain text from string and select description 3 to display more description. Now, the report will display more description in plain text instead of formatting text. Rich text. Rich text is used to display formatted text in reports, such as notes or more descriptions. To display stock item notes in a rich text component, select the rich text object and put it at the desired place. It also supports shift relative to property. Locate rich text 1 in the component list. Type the code in on print event. Refer to the video report builder, RTM, get column from database using variable for details. This part of the code retrieves the data from the table, while this part assigns the data if it is not null. Rich text 1 is the component name, assign the data to dot rich text. In the report, the note field will now appear as formatted text. Barcode Barcodes render data in machine-readable formats for inventory tracking and scanning. Set up the barcode in Maintain Stock Item. To display the barcode in the report, select Barcode Object and put it at the desired place. Find Barcode 2 and assign the on-print event with the code. Select the barcode from the relative table. You can find the table using Flame Robin. Make sure the code is linked to the item code in document details. Make sure the UOM is linked to the UOM in document details. Barcode 2 identifies the barcode object. Barcode 2 is the component name, assign the data to dot data. Preview the report to ensure the barcodes correctly represent the item codes. Image Image is used to display bitmaps and Windows metafiles in reports. The image is stored in the maintain item. To display the image in the sales invoice format, select the image object and place it in the report. Locate image 1 and assign the on print event. Use the function on the right panel to assign the item code. Image 1 is the component name. Use dbsql underscore get picture to link the image data to image 1.picture. Preview the report, and the image will now display dynamically. That's all for this video. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video. Follow our Facebook for the latest update. Go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.